Joseph and Kiprios. Look at those passes by Lisa. Greaves, a shot stop. Rebound off the glove, and Larmer stopped by Reagan. And uh, right in front, Larmer was deaf. Here comes all Samuelson with Graves coming after him. I think Holpe is the man that knocked down Steve Larmer. Front, but you should have seen the battle going on between all Samuelson and Mark Messier. Alfie whacked Messier across the back of the legs, and you could just see Messier just wince in pain. Look at Samuelson chopping down on Larmer there. And he was really using that lumber the entire time that the Penguins were killing that penalty. And here to the far wing, McKechnie of the Penguins runs into his own man. That's Francois LaRue. LaRue now knocked the helmet off one of the Rangers, but the Rangers have the puck. And Chinoff center in front. And Kiprios can't pull the trigger on that attempt. Shot. LaRue belts him and sends him flying, looking for him. Here comes Yarmer back in the right side. Knocks Graves down with a straight arm. Yager is hit. He's right on going. Said have got a lot and a lot of ice time here early in the season. Colin Campbell able to use six defensemen because those two guys are playing so well. And Wells did a nice job of picking Yager off as he came around the corner. Get him, Gino. Goaltending absolutely outstanding on both ends. To the back of Barry's head. And now McKenzie steps in on Bukovic. Well, Barry is a very feisty player. He might have been involved earlier with Bukovic. Bukaboom gave him a shot, and then McKenzie did come in. We'll see what penalties are issued here. The Rangers forcing Joseph back, and he plays it up the sideboards at the center. Toss of the Rangers. Third glove. A pretty set up there by Len Berry. Penguin center ice. Rangers come off, and here's a check by McKenzie, and on Hartman sends him by, and they'll battle one another. Now they drop the gloves. It was Hartman who dropped them first. Jeff McKenzie and Mike Hartman. And McKenzie throws him up against the boards in front of the Ranger bench. A whole lot of punches being thrown right now. Hartman comes with a left hand, but they're not throwing many punches. McKenzie, obviously the bigger man in this situation, but Hartman is a tough guy, and he's got his jersey up. Now McKenzie watches the lines and step in and uh, pull them apart. Hartman uh, does a pretty good job with uh, the size that he has. Just a lot of players. Kenzie was telling me yesterday that he wears a jersey that's a goalie cut. He said Marty McSorley does that as also. And what he means by that, it's a bigger jersey. The goalies have bigger jerseys, obviously, because they have to cover more equipment. And the fighters in the league are now going to those because it's easier to roll the sleeves up when it comes time to start uh, getting ready to fight. And that time, he really never had a chance to roll up his sleeves because Hartman was on him right away, and they were just more or less clutching and grabbing. He ended up losing the jersey altogether. That's an interesting situation. I mean, uh, he knew Hartman dropped the gloves first. Now, if you don't drop the gloves and you, and you get involved, does he get the, in, get the instigator or get an extra minor penalty? Well, maybe he does. Mike Hartman, double minor for roughing. Hartman gets a double minor for roughing. He gets a double minor rather than the instigator because the instigator means that you are ejected from the game. It's a game of misconduct penalty, and I think Frazier felt that it wasn't enough of a fight, really, as it turned out, to warrant. Mike Hartman being thrown out of the game. So he had a little mercy on him. Collision at center ice. That's how it started. That's when McKenzie hit him and Hartman came back at him. You see Hartman dropped the gloves and then McKenzie followed. So there's again a retaliation uh, factor where uh, Noonan right side coming down. One of the Penguins pulled down and was on to it. He couldn't make a play to get a shot off. Good to speed. Kovalev has who? All good with a good burst of speed. Straka back into the Rangers and in front of McEachern. He is jammed with a net by Osborne as he went in. And the net is dislodged and we get to stop him play. There is no time to think, I'm telling you right now. They are just going end to end and you really have to be at your very best or they will score on you. It's, it really is a lot like a playoff game here in this second period. Sandstrom and Lowe going at it right now. And we're talking about over a stretch now of a week and a half. He's played some solid hockey for the Penguins. He's getting a regular shift. And that certainly makes a difference for any player. Straka trying to get that puck to McEachern up in the air. There was nothing nearly he could do with it there. Just can't control it. Goals of Joey Mullins scored against the Rangers. Here's Dolph Samus attacking the armor. This has been the, the best game. The two teams playing that bit. And the defenseman and then making the pass. Yager took his time there, and he really didn't have a whole lot to work with. With Richter standing his ground against the post, and look at Wells just drill Yager from behind. Jay Wells on top of him. You saw Sandstrom going across the blue line ahead of the puck, but that's not offside. As long as you're in control of the biscuit, you can go over backwards that way. Put the puck behind you. And Mullen was 
smothered in the slot. There's another guy, Joey Mon. You don't these situations. You just try and do everything to keep the puck away from the net. Zubov, right point. Shoots that one. Look out, it took off. That puck took off. Somebody reached up and caught it. And Alfie is putting the uh, face of one of the Rangers into the ice down there. He's rubbing him into the uh, goal crease. I hope Samuelson will do anything to win a hockey game in the final 30 seconds. Yes, he I will. Mean, anything. That's a fact. 15.9. That's the time left. I'll never forget a, a replay of all Samuelson in New York a couple of years ago at the end of a game where he literally had three players. He was sitting on one of them and he had a, an arm and a hand on two other guys and he was holding three guys down. Clear Zubov around behind the goal. Look out. Messi has got a center's in front. Brady can't put it in. Loose puck shot. Where is it? Time runs out. Newton had a chance. I don't know where the puck went. And the Penguins win here in Pittsburgh. Newton shot that puck. I don't know where it went. And the Penguins hold on and defeat the Rangers in another one goal game. The final score Pittsburgh four, the Rangers three. But the Rangers had a big chance at the very end. Maybe we'll get a chance to look at it to see where the puck went. It looked to me. Uh, it looked to me as though Brian Noonan had a big chance to tie the game.